made a departure, it seems. That wasn't planned at all. That aircraft was just supposed to taxi away, and uh, I think he's got the knobs and the handles all mixed up. I've got news for you guys. That's not the engineer that was supposed to move it. Right, so I'm going for my hard hat, I think. I've also got news for you that that's not actually a licensed pilot in there. He doesn't know how to fly that. Play with that stick. Pull back on the stick. Now, pull back on the stick. That's better. Not too far, dear. Oh, dear. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm no expert, but I think his big head's gone, the amount of smoke coming out of that. Well, he certainly needs a new set of flight aircraft and uh, disappear. Now that's going back many years. Ooh, I don't think uh, that's in the rule book. You can get your license doing that. Very cross controls. Very cross controls indeed. Now, I think the only way we're going to get him down, Andy, is to actually... Yes, here we go. Right, ladies and gentlemen, you may have deduced from our uh, rather cavalier attitude to this first opening set that uh, this is actually a rather expert pilot, and uh, it is actually Brendan O'Brien of O'Brien's Flying Circus. Now, he is going to do something that only three pilots in the world uh, are capable of doing, which is landing this aircraft. Not a good thing to happen, even though it's only at 50 miles an hour. It can still ruin your day and your chances of a good night out. So let's see what he can do. He's, uh, he's having a look. He's got to match his speed precisely, and he's got to do it aerodynamically. He has to keep the power on. He's having a look. He's holding it back on the stick. He's still got the power on, holding it back, bleeding off the speed, dropping it down, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it right the way down onto the top. No, it's not good enough. Couldn't get enough speed off. So he's going to have another go on the back of this trailer here at Biggin Hill today. You could be out there with your smart car, Anton. Now, he's doing the same thing again. He's bleeding off the speed. Holding the stick right back, but keeping on the power. And he's feeling for it. Feeling for it. He's down. All he's got to do now is move forward to where the clamps are for the wheels. I think he's done it. Fantastic. Let's give him a round of applause for British. He's British. Well, this stunt was uh, first achieved here at Biggin Hill in 1988. That was the first time it had ever been done in this country, and it hasn't been done since. So what you've seen today is a, uh, a remarkable demonstration of aerobatics by an exceptional pilot who, uh, I believe, has flown more aircraft than...